Who is the best 80s only, 80s only, All 80s right. movie duo? This is rarefied hair. Okay. Rarefied Here's hair. Here's the list. We got five. Okay. Maverick and Goose, obviously. Yes. Yep. Murtaugh and Riggs. Lethal okay. Weapon. Lethal Come Weapon. weapon. Amazing. Lethal Weapon. Okay. Going to go uh, your favorite movie, Midnight Run, Jack Walsh and the Duke. Love it. Phenomenal I knew duo. You Phenomenal that duo. One. That's going to be tough to beat in my mind. I just didn't what know. What else is over mind. there? This came out in 1980, but the Blues Brothers. Okay. On Jake That's and Elwood. Jake and Elwood. The 70s, Jake and Elwood. Okay. Jake and Elwood. All right. Late 80s here. In honor of John Wick 3 coming out. Okay. And Boba. Bill and Bill Ted. Bill and Ted. Okay. Bill and Ted. That's an excellent adventure. 80s movie duo. I know you don't like, like it when I put my thumb on the scale, but do you have do you have the music ready right over there, please? Get that, that one. You know which one I want right there. It is really tough to beat. None other than the Duke. And Jack Walsh. It would be very, very difficult to beat that. We forgot that Jack one. Jack Walsh <laughs> and, and Raise the Hand, Brockman. We forgot. No, no, I said it. Because that's one of my favorite movies of all time. You, if you, Are you saying the first out? Like, if we're doing the NCAA tournament, and this is the bracketology before they're named, you are saying Jack Walsh and the Duke is first out? Yes. Oh, that they were in last that, in, in that list? first. Oh no, you put forty eight hours in out of that they're, list. They're last in. They're out, that's dude. It. You put forty eight. If you, you put forty eight hours off of Bill and Ted, Bill and Ted. You, if you have to actually describe your adventure as excellent, <laughs> you're out. Best eighties movie duo. Okay, lead the way right now. Blues Brothers, thirty four percent. They're on a mission from God. Yeah. Murtaugh and Riggs, twenty eight percent. Mikey Maverick and Goose, twenty one percent. Bill and Ted, fourteen percent. Come on. Come on. And bringing up the rear, no the way. host suggestion. Yep. Jack Walsh and the Duke. Three I say we take three percent. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Three percent. Because I know that Top Gun's being remade. Three percent. Right. That yeah, they're, yeah. they're remaking. Oh, it. Yeah. they're making a sequel. A sequel. sequel. They're making doing yeah. a sequel they're of doing it. A sequel. Right. Sequel. Yeah. I would love to see a Midnight Run sequel. With De Niro, get De Niro and Groden out there right now. I know Dennis Farina, God rest his soul, wouldn't be able to be in it, but let's go. I'd pay to see something like that. What is the matter with you people? Jack Walsh <laughs> and the Duke. Buddy, buddy, they was, that's a beautiful movie. It's Three, hilarious and a beautiful movie. 3%. 3%. 3%. I mean. 3%. All right, let's go to the phone lines right here. Adam in Indiana, you were on the Rich Eisen Show. What's up, Adam? Hey, Rich. Uh, guys, there's a glaring absence in that poll. And it uh, is? Mr. Miyagi oh. and Daniel LaRusso taking on the Cobra Kai Dojo. Best combination. They did. I mean, Mr. Miyagi fights off the kids for Daniel. That's like father son. That's like movie father and son. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, it's just it's duo. We it's didn't duo. we didn't stress buddy buddy. buddy yeah, they da were a duo. That's true. Daniel were. Russo, Daniel son, and Mr. Miyagi. All right, Midnight yeah. Run eats it. No, 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 no! I am not giving up hope. How is nobody <laughs> out there calling back my mm. Midnight Run play right here? Let's, let's look at the L's that Rich has taken this week. John Beeline oh, goes to Cleveland. Word. The Knicks don't get the, the number one pick. Win. The Jets debacle. Well, excuse me. Wow, I still have an hour and 40 Ooh, minutes left. To redeem yourself. I am not giving uh, the Blues Brothers right now, who's taking the right top. Right now, sir, excuse you, me. Excuse me. I'll speak your language. Right now, I'm down 28-3. All right? Nice. How'd that work out for you one day? Right? Rich. Your Michigan man wound hey, up on top, down 28-3. I mean, Just so you know, the Cooks County Assessor is waiting for the money, Rich. I know. It's tough to beat you the Blues Brothers. you got to redeem yourself Well, if it, if, it was, <laughs> if it was greatest movie duos right now in a theater near you, it would have to be Keanu Reeves and Boban in yeah. John Wick 3. Would you agree with that, Boban? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Two very large thumbs up. <laughs> John in Louisiana, you're here on the Rich Eisen Show. What's up, John? Hey, Rich, how's it going? What's going on? Well, I was just thinking, I was listening to your interview, uh, Boban, and you seem to have a good rapport with him. And I thought, you know, he's so big and strong and <laughs> powerful. And, you know, and you're, you're, you're you. And I was thinking, in honor of him and you, yeah, yeah. what about twins? Okay. <laughs> John, way to connect the dots on this yeah. show is to our poll question and our guests. That was that's next level. That's three dimensional chess from John in Louisiana right here, and greatly appreciated. Oh, I like it. Twins. Well, you know, uh, Casey Garrity of our of our uh, Rich Eisen show uh, camera uh, floor staff, if you will, 
Because if, if we upgrade everybody, I'm going to downgrade Casey. <laughs> <laughs> Casey Garrity of, of wow. the Rich, Eye, Rich Eyes and Floor Man. <laughs> Extraordinary. Wow. Didn't, it didn't, it wasn't that Casey's suggestion before, and we dispatched it we dispatched out of hand. Yeah, we, we can't, go, we can't it, yeah. go Schwarzenegger DeVito. Yeah. Uh, you, when we're you talking quickly, about. You quickly, I quickly dispatched quickly it. And I said, and we're doing Midnight Run. Jack Walsh. Yes, yes. exactly. Yes. Tango and cash. We have a full third hour. Six and percent. I am demanding. The votes. Oh, you see, this is... <laughs> 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 Come on. <laughs> Our final poll results just is patently disappointing. I'm very, very, very rarely do I just get let down by the fan base of this program. And uh, today I'm patently disappointed. I mean, it's like the Houston Rockets. That's the level of disappointment I feel right now. <laughs> eh, that's what the theme of the week, Rich. Taking losses this week. Yeah. I mean, I'm taking on water this yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got poker tonight. That's oh no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. Should oh, I not no. play? Oh. Or I'm due. I'm due. It's due to turn. I think you yeah. should let me take your seat. No. Best you... '80s movie duo: uh, Jack Walsh and the Duke, five percent. Oh. Rich's favorite movie of all time: Bill and Ted, eleven percent. Maverick and Goose, strong comeback, twenty-six percent. Blues Brothers. 29%. Are you serious? Murtaugh and Riggs, 29%. A Lead big the way. finish. Oh, we're still on. Weapon. We're, I, I'm telling you guys. It's that was your call, Mikey. Yeah. Danny Glover, Mel Gibson. Was beats, it great? The first one was out amazing. De Niro and Charles Grodin. I mean, are we kidding each other, please? For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.